CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello and welcome to CNBC TV 18 Weekender. My guest today is somebody who spent 30 years with the American Express Bank and is currently the regional president. Much like all of us, he loves unwinding over the weekends. His two passions being playing golf and reading books. <laughs> and catch up with Sanjay. Sanjay, thank you so very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18 The Weekender. Tell us, you know, since 2008, since you sold off your retail banking business to Standard Chartered, we've seen American Express Bank trying to rediscover itself. Tell us how has the journey been over the last eight years? Well, I would say that, first of all, we came back very strongly after the um, economic contraction in 2008. And we came back strongly globally, and it's certainly true for India. I was in the U.S. at that time, and I remember the attributes that enabled us to come back much faster than the rest of the industry were to keep in touch with our core value propositions and our customers. Speaking for myself, I was running the U.S. corporate card business, and when we saw the economic contraction, we knew that companies were not going to spend, and it was pointless for us to go and sell a corporate card as an expense uh, management solution in the traditional sense of the word that use this card and you can track expenses, we repositioned that to an expense saving solution. And by getting greater transparency into your spending, you'd be able to identify exactly what the pockets are where you can save expenses and that will help you tie these difficult times. That resonated with a number of companies. So in 2008 and some part of 2009, while we didn't get a lot of spending because of the economic conditions, we certainly were successful in getting a lot of new customers, mm -hmm. new clients. Mm -hmm. And when the economy came back, they stayed with us and they started spending. So we had the following years as blockbuster years. So it's an example of how you can take your, your value proposition and tailor it to the environment that you're working in. Uh, and that really was responsible for uh, one of the examples. Um, I think speaking for India, we've been, um, I came to India in late 2010. So this is your second stint at the American Express here in India. How has the second stint been different from your first innings? Well, I'd say that speaking for the payments business, mm -hmm. we are, are certainly experiencing a very different environment today compared to what it was in I'd say the last uh, decade of the previous century um, when we made a push into payments and I'm talking about the period from let's say 1993 when we launched the American Express card to 2000 we um, uh, tried a number of new things um, a lot of new people came into the market with payment instruments um, credit cards and debit cards and uh, the environment however uh, was very challenging because the fundamentals were not in place, credit bureaus had not yet been set up. Um, there weren't standards that uh, people could, could fall back on uh, to grow the payments business. So for us, as well as for the rest of the industry, that I would describe as a choppy period. Uh, we had great years and we had not so good years. You know, there's a sense that there's been a subtle shift in American Express's focus in the recent past because earlier American Express as a bank, you were catering more to the affluent. But now in the recent past, you've been talking about how you want to reach out to the masses. Why did that and how did that transition come well, about? The strategy we have is centered around uh, a very core principle, which is placing the interests and of our customers and clients first. Um, now, the manifestation of this is different in different markets, but I tell you in India, as you well know, more than half the population is under the age of 30. So when we say we want to target the masses, what we're really saying is that we want to become a more inclusive brand. We have to become meaningful in the lives of the millennials today. Uh, and that might not be through a classic American Express Platinum product or a gold product. It might be uh, tailored somewhat differently. It might not even be a credit card product. It could be an entirely different value proposition that's based on our ability to offer it in a differentiated way in the market. And I'm talking about um, a coalition loyalty program called Payback in which we have an interest in India. So it might not, not be a payment product, but speaking on the payment side, it might be configured very differently. But it's not about so much about 
going to the masses per se, but becoming a more inclusive brand that has the ability to attract young individuals to the franchise who hopefully will then grow with us over time. So in that sense, there's clearly then you would say a sort of a change in the company's approach. Well, I, I don't see how in India we can, we can be relevant uh, without being uh, relevant for, for the millennials, you know, just given the demographic imperative um, and the numbers that I shared. Uh, it's not so much a change in approach. Uh, it is just a realization that if we have to be big, and we certainly want to be big in India, then we have to be relevant for millennials. But tell me, Sanjay, less than 5% of the consumption needs in India are currently met through cards. How will American Express try and break this cultural barrier of sorts? Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. There is definitely a cultural bias towards cash. And the reality is that in a private consumption pie of over a trillion dollars, uh, only about 5 or 6% is on cards. And that translates into something like, I think the number in dollars was 55 billion last year, about 60% of that was credit and 50% of that was debit. But the um, reality also is that this market is growing at a rate of about 25-26%. And this growth rate is likely to continue into uh, way into the future. And we have a very long and very attractive runway for growth in payments. If you look at the penetration of electronic payments into private consumption expenditure in uh, other parts of the world, in the US I think it's about 30 odd percent. Mm -hmm. Uh, 38%, in Europe it's about 30%, and the numbers are in the 30s and higher for most of the developed world. You can grow the payments market in India today, that 55 billion, on a compounded basis at 25%. And if you make some assumptions about economic growth and uh, associated growth and consumption expenditure, even after 15 years, the penetration of modern payments into private consumption expenditure would be well below the levels we are seeing in the developed world today. Growing 25% on 55 billion is one thing, but growing 25% on 100 billion is quite another. So you can grow that by a compounded rate of 25%, and you'll still find in the next 10 to 15 years that the penetration into the private consumption expenditure will be lower than where the US and, and Europe are at today. So what does it mean then? What it means is that there is uh, you can take the glass half empty view that the market is really small. Uh, I prefer to take the glass half full view that it's got a massive runway for growth. And the underlying drivers uh, are very real um, and um, will translate into, um, will definitely translate into, into growth going forward. Uh, these are not drivers that are, are transient or temporary. These are drivers that are founded on regulatory changes, uh, changes in e the development of e-commerce, the development, the evolution of smartphones, uh, changing customer preferences, changing merchant preferences. All that is happening now even as we speak. So Sanjay, one of your passions clearly is playing golf and I'm told the weather outside is really good. How about we take this conversation outside? Absolutely. Okay, let's quickly slip into a break. On the other side, there's lots more with Sanjay Rishi of American Express. Don't go anywhere. We're always open to partnerships if there's a win-win model. Um, so the first stage of that has been um, uh, to work with the payment banks and ensure that American Express cards are accepted as uh, funds in cur uh, currency for the payment banks who offer these digital wallets. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.